Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do a enhanced input uh, zoom in and out tutorial uh, at the behest of a viewer. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from our created third person character project. We're going to go third person character input actions, and then we're just going to create a uh, input and it's going to be an input action. So we're going to name it IA zoom. We're going to open this one up. And we don't want a Boolean value. We want a float value so it can give us uh, a one or a negative one. And if we leave this the way it is, it's going to give us a zoom in, uh, in on scroll back and zoom out on scroll, uh, scroll forward, which is the opposite of what we want. So if we just negate it using a modifier, that will fix that problem. Okay, then we're gonna close that down. We need to go back up into the input and go to the uh, input mapping context, so IMC default, and we're gonna add a new mapping. That mapping, we can just click that add button up there, come over here to the new one that was added and just click IA zoom. And then we can click on this and just scroll up and we'll get the wheel access. There you go. Then we can pop on over to our C++. And all we have to do in here is we can copy this and we'll say zoom input action, change the name to zoom action. And then we need a step for how, how large of a step we're going to do every time we zoom in because by default it will be one and it will take a really long time to zoom in or out. So we'll say, um, do the same here. And we'll say float uh, zoom step. We'll give it a zoom step of 10 is usually what I like to do. There we go. And then if we come down here, we can create a function called zoom. So avoid zoom. And then we're going to just essentially copy the one above it from look. It'll be f input value and then the value. And we just need to generate this definition. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the value that we're passing in from the from here. So we'll do that by following what we see on 117. And that will be float. And it will be zoom x value equals value dot get. And we want it to be a float. <clears throat> then what we want to do is we want to grab the camera boom. The camera boom is just um, the, essentially the pole that the camera sits at the end of. So camera boom. And we want to uh, affect the target length of that uh, boom. So target arm length. And we can do plus equals zoom axis. And we can multiply that by the zoom step. And because zoom axis will be a one or a zero, this will just give us uh, a multiple of um, negative one or negative zero, uh, sorry, it will give us either 10 or negative 10 anytime we uh, zoom. Then there's one more thing that we need to do up here and we just need to copy this. And instead of it being the look action, we're going to bind it to the zoom action. We can leave it with trigger, that's fine, but we don't want to trigger the look function or method. We want to trigger the zoom method or a function, depending on how you want to call it. And then we can just compile our engine. All right, now that our engine is all nice and compiled, we can open up our pre-existing stuff here. Now we want to grab our character blueprint and we're gonna to need to make a small change to here so we can come over to the details, depending on what your project has had. This might just be one straight uh, up and down just the details, or you might have something that looks like this. We can just type in input and it'll jump straight to there. Now zoom is currently set to nothing. We just want to change that to IA zoom, the input that we created. Save compile. We hit play and we can zoom in. <laughs> let's let's actually go to the right spot here. We'll change that back to one and the default start area. And then we can zoom in. Zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Beautiful. 